Hi guys and welcome back to the next video in our 5 inch FPV freestyle drone build. In this video we're going to be installing the, uh, the camera system. For this build we have decided to go with the uh, Cadex Vista Nebula Pro. Ok guys what you get in the box is the wiring harness, the Cadex Vista and the Pro camera itself. You also get a pack with some screws for mounting the camera to the frame and you also get and you also get the antenna. I've already got already gone ahead and soldered the uh, the cable harness on. There was really no point in me filming it because all you would have seen was the top of my head. And I'm not gonna lie guys, for a beginner that is a pretty hard soldering job to do. I mean I'm not quite a beginner, but I'm not that good at soldering either. But you could do it, but I would not advise this being your first soldering job. I'd recommend that you uh, watch the video that I've linked in the description down below. and Maybe get one of the soldering practice boards first, then come back to solder this. Anyway, we've done that anyway. So the next thing we need to do is install the antenna. And to do that, we need to remove this 1.5mm bolt. Once we've done that, we'll be able to remove this little metal hinge, like so. Next, we're going to grab the uh, antenna mount and we're going to pass it through the hole and then we're going to line it up with the gold circle piece there I'm just going to push it down like so guys, make sure it's in there fully. Once it's connected, you'll notice that you've got a small hole and a larger hole. What we need to do is slot the smaller hole underneath. to do is slot the smaller hole underneath but to insert that pin through the small hole do we pass the larger hole back underneath this metal piece and reinsert the bolt Screw that back down. Okay guys, that's the, that's the antenna installed. Once we've done that, we just slot this in, push this into the end of the antenna holder, like so. Okay guys, to fit this Cadex Vista, we're going to be using cable ties. So we're going to place a cable tie through that hole. Let's grab another cable tie, guys. And we're also going to pass a cable tie through this hole. Ok 
Okay, we've also got some 3M Velcro here. One piece is to place onto the frame, and the other piece I will place onto the bottom of the Cadex Vista. Okay guys, we've installed the Cadex Vista Pro, but for some reason the memory card on my camera's glitched and we've lost the footage. So let me quickly run through what we've done. Um, we started off by passing cable ties through the bottom of the frame and up through the mounting holes on the Cadex Vista. Then we passed the uh, wiring, the wiring harness underneath the cable ties, back down through the Vista and out the bottom of the frame. And we've closed the cable ties, but not too tight. Literally, all we want them to do is just provide a little bit of support to the Vista. We have also mounted the camera at the front of the quad. But what I decided to do to keep the cable out of the way, I uh, lifted back up the flight controller and run the camera, for, uh, sorry, the cable for the camera underneath the flight controller. We've also installed the capacitor. What we did with that is we took some cut off wire from when we installed the motors and we, put, we soldered one onto the positive and one onto the negative and the other ends of the wires were soldered next to the, uh, I, the XT60 power cables. I then used the, uh, the level app on my iPhone to measure out 20 degree angle for the camera and we uh, installed the camera using that hole there and that one on that side if you look at it from the side on you may be able to see that the, the camera angle has been set to 20 degrees I believe as a beginner FPV pilot that'll be a good place for me to start from so yeah so there we have it guys that is pretty much the quad built all we've got to do is uh, place on the top plate and the uh, the battery stick on protector and before we'd be doing that I'm going to be running some checks and obviously doing some setup just in case there's a problem but yeah basically the quadcopter's uh, built I've really enjoyed it so far so thanks for watching the video guys Please consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one.